and it was his idea to put a sprig of parsley on the plate. You're making this up. There was never a Joseph Garnish. Oh, oh yeah, the toys. <laughs> Where did you get all these? My dad was a collector. I inherited them after he died from a long, painful bout with... Super Bowl! <laughs> hey, an original G.I. Joe. With the full frogman suit. Jerry, what are you doing? I'm putting this on him and we're going to the sink. <laughs> oh, Jerry! You're priceless. They've never been played with. I just want to touch him a little. I said no. Now, come here. So three dates and she still won't let me play with the toys. Hmm, that's interesting. You know, someone mentioned to me you were not very happy with your toys growing up. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> right, right, right. And uh, you mentioned that uh, you didn't get a G.I. Joe. You had... An army piece. Right. <laughs> it was made of wood and in the rain he would swell up and then split. And we all know how painful that can be. Sorry. Got any booze? What say you and I get ripped? No, thanks. I have a headache. Can you just get me an aspirin? All right. Hmm. Will not cause drowsiness. May cause drowsiness. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Back to base, Joe. So, Jerry, uh, what's going on with you? I understand there's a young lady in your life. Hmm? Well, actually, it's kind of a funny story because she has this amazing toy collection, and last night I finally got to play with them. Well, sounds like things are progressing. Do I hear wedding bells? Are you married right now? Mm. <laughs> Actually, she doesn't even know about the toys. I gave her the wrong kind of medicine, and I guess she passed out. What do you mean, wrong kind of medicine? She's even got that old Mattel football game that we love. Oh, come on. You gotta get me over there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean to say that you drugged a woman so you could take advantage of her toys? <laughs> Let's pause a moment. <laughs> Jerry. Now, what you do with your personal life is your business. But when you're on my set, you clean it up, mister. More wine and turkey? So when I saw George on the street with an 18-pound turkey and a giant box of wine, I thought, what a coincidence. We're just about to eat. What is that stuff in turkey that makes you sleepy? Tryptophan. <laughs> I think. Have some more wine. What video did you get? Oh, George brought home movies of his boyhood trip to Michigan. Four hours. More heavy gravy. <laughs> yes! Touchdown! Your turn, Jerry. You took him over to Celia's? What? It's a victimless crime. About the woman who's been drugged and taken advantage of. Okay, one victim. I think it's unconscionable. Hey, last night I found a whole Weeble village right behind the Easy Bake Oven. Easy Bake Oven? Who <laughs> wants cupcake? Oh, me, 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 me. You know, that batter is like 30 years old. You step on it and it flushes. Why is your father giving a tour of a rest stop? Stop squirming. Oh, don't look. Th this is the part where they change me. You're like eight years old. Georgie. I was seven and a half. Uh, you drugged a woman in order to play with her toy collection. How do you feel about that? It was great. I've done it a few more times since then. And she doesn't know anything about this? No, not a thing. Well, Jerry, we have a little surprise for you. Come on out, Celia. What kind of sick, twisted creep are you? Oh. Oh. What, what is this? What is she doing here? It's a new format, Scandals and Animals. Get it if you think you can drug me and play with my toys, you've got another thing coming, buddy. Go, girl. 
Well, what kind of woman drinks an entire box of wine? 